Hi everyone, this is Carlos Bravo from the Cloud Alliance's team at Canonical. In this short video, I wanted to show you how easy it is to harden your servers against uh, this stick profile on Ubuntu Pro 2004. All right, so I just grabbed an image of uh, Ubuntu Pro Fips 2004 from the marketplace. I can show you where. You just need to search for Ubuntu Pro Fips, and you will see that we have three versions of Ubuntu here. I went here for the 2004 version because this one has one tool that is called USD, Ubuntu Security Guide, which is the tool that we're going to use for hardening our server. All right, so I'm going to, going to head back to the terminal. And one of the first things that you can do when you are running Ubuntu Pro is to check um, the status of the entitlement that comes already in Ubuntu Pro. So you can see that we have ESM here, uh, apps and infra, which, which are covering uh, universe and main repositories. We are patching more than 30,000 packages here. Um, this is FIPS functionality, which is already enabled. For the ones that don't know, FIPS is a certification that tells you that you're running specific kernel versions and specific crypto modules that, uh, that are valid for running on FedRAMP environments. Right? Uh, we have live patch also that patches your kernel uh, without needing to reboot. Uh, of course, it's not compatible with FIPS because in FIPS you have to run in a specific kernel version, so they are not compatible. And then we have USD, which is the tool that we are going to enable here. Uh, one of the interesting things, let me show you, that if you want to double check that you're running on FIPS mode, is that you can check um, check for this this flag, for example. So, sys crypto and then we have FIPS enabled. If this number is one, then you are running, th then your kernel is running on FIPS mode, all right? If you get zero or you don't have this file, which is not really, really a file, but uh, it will mean that the kernel is not running on FIPS mode and you need to maybe reboot or recheck what, what went wrong with your, your enablement of this feature because this is enabled on, on launch. Um, so let's get back into our business. We're going to enable, you're going to tell UA to enable USG. Okay, so this command will uh, give me access to the repository that contains software for, for hardening the machine. Okay, so now we can apt install USG. Now we're installing the tool. And one of the first things that we're going to do is to audit this machine as it is. Okay, so if you run USG just like that, it will tell you that it has different options. One is auditing, just checking your machine, whether it's compliant or not with, with uh, several uh, rules from this stick or CIS, which is the same, I mean, same process. Uh, then we have fix if you need to, which is what we're going to do actually uh, after the audit is fixing all the rules that are non-compliant. Generate a fix is super useful if you have to harden um, several machines and not doing them one by one because it will generate a bash script for that. And tailoring means when you, when you need customization to this. Okay, so let's run the USD audit. If you see audit here, will tell you what do you want to audit. CIS, and, and here we have level one and level two workstation or server, and we have this stick here, all right? So we want to run audit this stick and I want to get the results HTML file was the so I'm going to put it just here. I'm going to call it my this uh, stick baseline. It will generate an HTML file that is, is uh, interactive here. The tool is checking every single rule and checking whether it is passing or failing. OK, I'm going to post the video here for the sake of time. All right, so the scan was completed. We can see that we have the file here, my this stick baseline. I'm going to copy the name. And uh, now we're going to move it to AWS S3 bucket. I have a specific bucket for, for this kind of reports, so I can see them from the web browser very in, in a very easy way. So S3 copy this file into an S3, and the folder is called CIS reports. Um, if you look here, uh, the file is not readable because it has been written by, by root. So it's very easy to, to solve. Okay, now we have the file on the bucket. Let's jump into the bucket and see the results. I'm going to reload the contents and we have the baseline here. We're going to open it 
we have a fully blown HTML file with graphics, colors, and even interactive way. Um, and you can see that we only passed 42 rules and 132 failed, right? So uh, it is not really, really good out of the box, but now we are gonna fix it. That's the good news here. Let me clear the screen here. One piece of advice here is that don't ever run this in production. These are generic rules, are just good practices, and one of them may even break your application at some point. Okay, and the second thing is that you need to remember, one of the rules that this stick has is that every user that runs sudo commands needs to be authenticated by a password, right? Right now, I can do whatever I want uh, with sudo, and I don't get a prompt for a password, right? I can enable services, restart machines and everything, but because this is um, an image coming from the marketplace, it's generally, it doesn't come with a password. So you need to set a password for the Ubuntu user. Otherwise, you're going to log yourself out of the machine. OK, now we have a password. And we're going to run usg fix this uh, stick. Now this script is going to do another uh, audit. It's going to check what is not passing, what is failing, and it's going to try to fix those ones that are failing. All right, now that the fixes have been applied, we need to reboot the machine, and I'm going to pause the video again and, and finally to run an audit. All right, so now we are entering our machine. If you see, even the MOTD has, has been changed. Okay, let's run another audit. It was USG audit this uh, stick, and then we wanted to put the HTML results file. My this uh, stick need a password, and we are going to run again the audit. Okay, now the audit has finished. We can check the file here. This is the hardened one. I'm going to copy sudo ws s3 copy this file into an s3 called my cas reports. Okay, done. We're going to jump now into our bucket. This was our previous report. If you see, we were passing only 42 rules. Going back here and the hardened one. And now we are passing 171 rules, okay? There are four rules that we are not uh, compliant with. Our percentage coverage is 95%, which is super good. Uh, remember that in real life, it's very difficult to get 100% because your application will have certain requirements. Okay, so you, you just need to establish your baseline, I guess. And for example, rules that are failing, install endpoint security. So antivirus for Linux. You need, for example, to offload your audit logs. This is quite interesting because this is done with, with CloudTrail, for example. You, you do it with tools that are outside the server, all right? Since you're running on your cloud, uh, you can use CloudTrail on, on AWS or any other tool in other clouds. Um, and then you can see, for example, what, what happened, what, what is the, the rules that are not passing. I advise you to run the script and check what, what is going on. Uh, sometimes when you rerun this, this script, you get uh, some rules fixed. And that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.